everyone likes to have a few days off, chilling on a dreamy island. However, there are some islands that are not ideal for vacations, and they are even some of the most dangerous islands in the world. These places are anything but peaceful and relaxing. First off, we have the Karnak Island. This 47-acre island may seem small, but it is definitely deadly to be on. Located off the west coast of Australia, the place is infested with poisonous tiger snakes. These snakes not only contain deadly venom that can kill humans, but they also have a strange history wherein no one knows how these snakes got to the island in the first place. It was believed that a man named Lindsay Rocky Vane collected tiger snakes for years only to leave them on the island. However, the history of Karnak Island gets weirder. Back in 1838, the island was used as a prison for three indigenous Australians. Eventually, the trio were able to escape, only to be replaced by these snakes. Naturally, tiger snakes do not have any predators on the island. This makes them very dangerous. The island is also home to a lot of seagulls, which gives the snakes an endless supply of food. However, these seagulls can also peck out the eyes of snakes, making them blind. But these snakes can still rely on their sharp sense of smell to survive. When humans are bitten by tiger snakes, they have a 40 to 60% chance of survival. They also experience symptoms like numbness, sweating, paralysis, and other awful symptoms. When it comes to Italy, you might think of beautiful art museums, expensive cars, or even delicious smelling pizza. However, there is also another aspect of Italy that needs to be recognized, and that is its numerous volcanoes. The small island of Stromboli in the Tyrrhenian Sea is located off the north coast of Sicily. This island contains the active volcano, Mount Stromboli, which is one of the three dangerous volcanoes in Italy. Volcanic eruptions happen every day on the island, which is why it is dubbed as the lighthouse of the Mediterranean, because the eruptions can be seen from miles away. For the past 5,000 years, the volcano consistently released lava and ash, which should serve as a warning for those wanting to visit the island to stay away from it. Some people tried to conquer this volcano, but all of them suffered the wrath of Mount Stromboli. In July 2019, a hiker was killed by the volcano during his trip to the island. This volcano is not something to mess with, and surely you don't want to go anywhere near this island. Other islands are so dangerous that traveling there is completely forbidden. 28 miles off the coast of San Francisco lies the Farallon Islands, also known as the Devil's Teeth, a collection of jagged rocks that make up the island. These rocks are very sharp and deadly enough, but the sharks lurking around the island makes this place horrifying. Sharks aren't the only thing to be afraid of on this island because it is also located at the largest offshore nuclear waste dump in the whole United States. Almost 50,000 drums of radioactive waste were thrown into the area back in the 1900s after being used for experiments. The turbulent waters near the island also engulfed anyone who tried to trespass. This includes the poor inhabitants of a yacht named the Low Speed Chase in April 2012, being near the island is also very deadly. The next island is scary on another level. Dead Man's Island is situated in Kent, United Kingdom. This island may seem like a nightmare as skeletons of 200 men are scattered across the island. According to researchers, these bones belong to prisoners who died because of deadly diseases centuries ago. The reason these bones arrived on the island is because the prisoners were usually on boats when someone died from the disease. The island was usually used as a burial place. Visiting the island feels like being in a horror film. These skeletons were also eroded by the weather, which makes them even scarier. This island is off limits to the public, but some research groups can visit. Visitors often say that the experience is very horrifying. The most terrifying part is that almost all of these people that died on the island were convicted for petty crimes back in the 18th century. This next island may be occupied by some people, but it isn't any less dangerous than the others. Anewatuk Atoll is a large coral atoll comprising 40 islands situated on a coral reef shaped like a circle in the Pacific Ocean. It was controlled by the Japanese up until 1944 when the US troops took over. Nuclear tests were done on the island wherein over 40 nuclear weapons were detonated. A concrete dome was built on Runnet Island to cover hazardous nuclear waste to contain the dangerous radiation emitted. Although the residents of this island were evacuated prior to the these nuclear testings, they started to come back to their homes. Rising sea levels have caused
caused water to seep into the dome, which caused hazardous material to lead. Currently, the island is inhabited by almost 700 people, even though the island spans fewer than four miles. All of these people are in danger of radioactive poisoning. However, the people of Enawatak Atoll have been peaceful toward tourists. It would be a bad experience if visitors were to go to North Sentinel Island, which is part of the Andaman Islands in the Bay of Bengal. Having white sand beaches, this place may seem like a paradise, but the Sentinelese people who reside on the island are the reason why the place is so scary. The exact population on the island is unknown. It is believed that 500 very aggressive natives live on the island, and they are not friendly to outsiders. This group is also among the last tribes to be completely isolated from the modern world. These people are also not immune to diseases from the outside, which is why they don't like to have visitors, and may resort to attacking them sometimes. In 2006, two fishermen were killed just for approaching the island. The Indian government decided that they will not sue the Sentinelese people for this. They are very keen to protect their island that they were able to quickly dispatch an unfortunate American missionary in 2018. Only the native people are safe on this island. Who knew that Italy would be home to a lot of dangerous places? Poveglia is an island located in a Venetian lagoon. The island was used by the Romans to isolate people infected with the bubonic plague during the late Middle Ages. As more people became sick, more and more were thrown to the island. Eventually, a mental hospital was constructed on the island so that doctors could do torturous procedures and perform lobotomies on their patients before they died. Just like in Dead Man's Island, there is also something creepy about this place. When the crew of Ghost Adventures arrived on Poveglia, even non-ghost believers may be convinced that evil spirits lurk in the island because of the disturbing voices and screams that can be heard from the recording. This is why the government has banned visitors from coming to the island. We'll let you decide whether this place is haunted or not. Nothing is more dangerous than living on an island created by a fiery volcano. Miyakejima is a volcanic island situated in the Philippine Sea near Japan. Its residents also call it as Gas Mask Town. The volcanic eruptions of Oyama spewed out hot molten lava, created massive earthquakes, and released poisonous clouds of sulfur dioxide. In the year 2000, the residents of Miyakojima were forced to evacuate to Japan for five years because of a very powerful eruption. Its residents were eventually allowed to return, but they are now required to carry gas masks along with them. The second that a visitor steps on the island, they are immediately offered with a variety of masks to buy. Mount Oyama releases about 42,000 tons of sulfur dioxide a day, which makes it very risky for people to live there. Here's another island that's also infested with snakes. The Ilha de Quimada Grande is an island off the coast of Brazil. The island's population consists only of golden lancehead pit vipers, which are absolutely deadly. There are approximately 4,000 of these snakes wandering around the island, which makes the Brazilians call this as the Snake Island. The island was once connected to Brazil, but it was separated because of rising sea levels over 10,000 years ago. A single bite from these venomous snakes can be very deadly even to the strongest man alive, who may be dead after less than an hour. The government has prohibited anyone who plans to visit the island. They even assigned the navy near the island to make sure no one goes near it. With all those deadly snakes, why would anyone even try to go to the island? Now it's time to get the nitty gritty of what you really want to see. Ramri Island is located near the coast of Burma. This island features a different type of fierce reptile, crocodiles. A notable moment in history is the unusual crocodile battle that happened at the end of World War II. In order to escape from the British troops, Japanese soldiers had to cross a mangrove swamp where they discovered that the waters were filled with these dangerous reptiles. The soldiers didn't stand a chance against these strong creatures. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, this has been the most fatal crocodile attack ever. 1,000 troops entered the swamp, but only less than 500 made it out alive. But these survivors didn't live much longer after because they died of dehydration and other diseases. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them on your phone. Make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The last island may also be infested with deadly reptiles. Crocodile Island is an island in the Philippines that has the same shape as a crocodile. 
Is this another place where the savage reptile resides? Contrary to the other islands in this video, the island is actually safe for visitors. Tourists from all over the world visit this place to enjoy snorkeling and scuba diving in the serene blue waters. The ocean is also crystal clear, which means that you can watch marine animals swim with you. Now you know some of the most dangerous and deadly islands. Which one do you think is the most dangerous? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Last but not least, be a pal and share this video and we will be eternally grateful. And who knows, maybe we'll send you a freebie one of these days just for helping us out.